What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and today is another barracks room tour and it's going to be in Vilsack, Germany, right? And I'm nowhere near Germany so luckily for me my brother just joined the army and he got stationed there so he was kind enough to record his room, talk us through it, you know, what they have available in their barracks rooms on the certain uh, location of the base that he is staying in. Uh, my brother's name is Joseph Alvarado, he's a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout, right? Uh, and also guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, consider doing so right now and also comment down below what other barracks videos you would like to see and what other videos you would like to see in general. And also, would you like to see my brother talk about his MOS, 19 Delta, what's it like to be stationed in Germany, right, overseas, you know, how's the weather over there, you know, what kind of training do they do in Germany, what kind of training does a scout do, things like that. If you guys have those questions for my brother, just comment them down below and we'll make future videos together and uh, inform y'all of varying different topics whether it's what's life in Germany like what's 19 Delta like and things of that nature guys but without further ado here's my brother PFC Alvarado giving y'all a barracks tour of Vilsack Germany hey what is up you already know who it is Joseph Alvarado I'm helping out my brother Today I'm going to show you what Germany barracks looks like, or German barracks look like. So, let's get into it, please. All right, so basically, it's just a hotel card reader, you know, average shit. This is MV M MTV, welcome to my crib. All right, well, I just went grocery shopping not too long ago, so, boys making nachos. All right, but yeah, it's, uh, let me get straight into it, you know, let me jump into it so basically what the army gives you is typically one microwave that is somewhat decent uh it's pretty good but uh, you know uh, it all depends on what year uh they they uh, restock so mine was like 2012 and some other rooms have earlier stuff but you know uh we get what we get and you know it's uh, they, they work on trying to get us new stuff but you know it's all what it's all a time thing it's all a patient thing you also get one giant fridge, oh, average size. Uh, you get cabinets to put your stuff, and I just got done washing dishes. And this is literally it. This is like, for the common area, this is all you get. You get two hot plates, an area to dry your uh, plates or whatever, and one tiny sink. Not too much to go off of, but they do give you this giant thing to put all your bowls or whatever. Sometimes it's not enough room, but you know, every every uh, base has different rooms. You know, like Fort Bliss is a little like a lot better than this compared to this. But you know, this is one of the where I'm at stationed at is uh, one of the oldest and longest uh, 19 Delta. Like like where we hold it, we're called the Dragoons. Like there's a lot of history behind it. I can try to go into it in a different video, but this is like the one of the oldest uh, bases known for 19 deltas like we've held a lot of uh a lot of fights and a lot like won a lot of places and been in a lot of places so uh you get another drawer for pots and pans and stuff like that uh under your sink uh you got your control panels here highly recommend this stuff i swear meso mix if you have it good for you if you don't try to buy it i swear it's delicious like me personally i love it but yeah it's very delicious so I guess the next part is uh, my room. I'll uh, show you what's up. Uh, basically, this is my room. It's a uh, fair enough space. Uh, not too, not too bad. Not too crazy either. Uh, you get one uh, small. Uh, you get a cabinet, a small, a smaller drawer, uh, a desk. Uh, you know, clothing drawer, and then this drawer is like for ACUs, uh, OCPs. Etc. Etc. Like all the like, if you want to put your gear in there, you can. Uh, I just got back from the field, so some of my stuff is like unpacked right there. I still need to organize it because after you get done from the field for two weeks, you just want to you just want to lay down, don't do anything, just get your rest because sometimes it can be pretty hectic. Uh, you you have to buy your own sheets depending on your unit. Sometimes they have sheets for you, but I recommend buying your own. Don't be like me and buy a bigger size, okay? I bought like the wrong size sheet, so every time I wake up, it's undone. So I get kind of frustrated, but you know, that's whatever. Uh, it keeps me good or whatever. 
me personally, what I like to do, I like to get ready for a lot of things. So if I want to go out, I'll have my stuff ready. I'll have my pants, socks, my shoes ready. And obviously I'm wearing my shirt. Same thing with my gear. Uh, I recommend having your gear underneath your bed because when uh, they do room inspection, they'll come in, they'll, uh, this is my roommate. Every room or more or less should have a roommate in it. Uh, but sometimes they don't. And if you're lucky, you're good. Uh, Especially as bogs, by the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, like when they come into room inspection, they'll know because, you know, you have a lot of stuff in your closet. So they just, they, they know you have a bunch of rooms. So they won't mind if it's under your bed or whatever. Uh, and then obviously with the room comes the restroom. Obviously not that too much in depth. There's a one small shower and then one restroom. Uh, and whoever's coming to, to, uh, to Germany, uh, yeah, Germans don't believe in AC. Well, they do, but they just don't have it because uh, uh, it, it's not that good for the environment or whatever. So yeah, it's like not really that good for the environment, but uh, the government's trying to, to work on it. Uh, but for that, they need like special like rights and like meetings to do to where they can get it approved. So they're working on it. Um, but that's one of the things why Germany is like so beautiful. Like the environment is just really, they take care of it really good. They recycle very aggressively. It's, it's amazing. Um, but like I said, no AC, it's fine. But once it gets colder, like how it is right now, like in, during the night, it's like 30 some, uh, it keeps it cool. Uh, or you could just like prop your windows open real quick. Um, Another thing is, um, I recommend getting, I can't really see it. Well, yeah, like router or whatever, uh, because uh, for any new uh, in-processing uh, soldiers, uh, their sponsors or whatever will try to push out information to them. And sometimes uh, your state side number won't get service out here. So it's kind of like beneficial because that information is very vital for a very for like all the new guys that are coming in, so uh, it gives you time dates and like things that you need to do or try to knock out uh, to help you out and stuff like that. So uh, it's very it's very useful. So like the first day of in processing, just go ahead and go to your PX or whatever and just go get it. Um, and like my room, it's your typical average uh, standard room. You have one roommate, two rooms each. But if you're like my buddy. Uh, Daniel Guerrero, Diamond Dave's brother, because we're both over here. Uh, he has one bigger room, but he shares it with a roommate. So it's sort of like mine, but it's like more expanded. And then they have a common area like mine, but they have to share that one room. Uh, sometimes it's okay because, you know, you never know when you're going to need your battle buddy right there with you. Because sometimes they'll get your back on like some sticky situations because... Like my, I have a room key for my room, but my room key won't work for my, my, my battle buddy over here. So, but with him, they have the same room key. So if one gets locked out, they can help him out, you know, or you could just do how my brother said on one of his videos and just do that. Get the string, put it underneath the door. And I, I had to use it a couple of times to be honest, cause because uh, being new to a unit, uh, uh, kind of forgot my key sometimes so in and out baby and so so yeah so uh, this, those are their, basically like those two rooms uh one with the roommate that you share with and then one like mine where it's just you your room and then your roommate in the other room uh that's about it type of deal um what well like i said like i like to have my gear on the floor uh because it's very access, uh, accessible, I think that's the word, accessible. And uh, have your stuff laid out. So uh, if you need it, it's right there. Um, you can bring stuff over, like uh, like your systems and stuff. Uh, it may look like a mess, but it's actually organized because I like to have it like that. And you best believe that's what I'm recording with right now, baby. Best phone, I swear to God. Uh, well yeah uh, that's just about it uh well yeah if you if you like uh 
If you like nachos, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and put in the comment what you like on your nachos. Cause you best believe your boy down there in Texas with all my boys go to Danny's and get Zesty nachos all the time. That's what I'm gonna try to make right now. Cause I'm the cook on this floor to be honest. They call me the 19 Delta, the cook, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, if you had a room in your life, hit that like and subscribe button. If you ever had a dirty room, hit that like and subscribe button and put how dirty it was. If you ever had a roommate, hit that like and subscribe button. Even if you didn't, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in on my brother's channel. Also, big thanks for all y'all on the competition. Uh, we both really appreciate it, mainly him. But hey, we got to support him when support's needed, I guess. But eh, catch you guys later. All right, guys, so there you go. You just saw my brother do a little barracks room tour, right, of his uh, his room. Uh, they're pretty nice compared to what you could be living in in the Army. Those are pretty nice barracks, right? They have the rooms in themselves. They share a common area. That's kind of how our rooms were on Fort Bliss. If you guys haven't seen those video, that video, you can check it out on my channel. I've also done South Korea barracks room tours. Uh, but, yeah, feel free to check those out, guys. Thank you again, Joseph, uh, you know, for showing us that video. I really appreciate it. And also, guys, again, comment down below what future videos you want to see, whether it's more barracks room tour videos or if it's, like, more 19 Delta videos or more videos that can include my brother, you know, talking about what life in Germany is like, things of that nature, guys. Feel free to drop them. And if you guys want to do so, you guys can follow my Instagram. It's at Ben underscore Allen 175. Best possible place to reach me. I answer all of my DMs. No question goes left unanswered. So feel free to hit that up, guys. And again, thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.